What's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and fellow YouTubers, all of you have been very welcome to this trick and meh, tip and trick tutorial how you can earn some extra reputation marks and maybe some fleet marks as well, the choice is yours. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, in this video I'm actually going to cover something that is really um, not time intensive let me just say it li uh, like uh, it is um in most of the missions that we are doing in star trek online those being uh, uh, special task force missions that you're going to farm for your reputation tree you are basically uh, bound to maybe 15 20 minutes if you're not including uh eyesight runs and stuff like that uh at least to earn yourself like a hundred fleet marks or maybe somewhere in the vicinity of 90 to 100 reputation marks. Now what I'm actually going to display for you guys on this video is a really easy way um, by actually utilizing the events that are going uh, that are going uh, right that are going on right now on Risa. Uh, the way to do it is I'm actually going to exchange all of those non-combat pets, uh, those birds and also those monkeys and it's going to be really awesome. So here we go. The first thing which you need to do is uh, to grab yourself a couple of these eggs. Now these eggs are uh, basically you can obtain these things by uh, doing or by getting a little bit of luck by uh, doing the Horgan Hunt mission during the Risa event and I'm actually going to display a video right um, uh, on the background on, on this video showcasing that I really got lucky and on the first uh, dig that I did excavating these Horgans uh, that you guys are seeing and I actually got an extra egg so i only did to do uh, the 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 farming of eggs only once in a day and if you really don't want to do that there i'm actually going to show you a different way where you can obtain all of those eggs while underneath me there are a couple of uh race is going on but anyway a little bit of distraction um okay so I'm actually going to transport to the resort for this next part because there is an NPC right there at the resort where you can actually exchange 150 of these um, lul nuts. This NPC is right here and you can have uh, make sure you are on the summer event tab scroll all the way down and you can have one Rhysian tropical bird egg for 150 of these favors now obviously these favors are really easy to obtain by doing various missions around uh, Risa so you can have the biathlon the uh, uh, artifact scavenger hunt and so on and so forth you can obtain those the dance events and all of that i'm not even going to go through them one by one but you can have them really easy now the next thing that you're also going to need is these tags uh, these tags are basically for the monkeys and these eggs are for these uh, birds that is the way we are going to do that so um Make sure that you do a couple of missions. Uh, the the let's see the no not the dance of the power board race actually gives rewards those tags the uh, biathlon as well and um, there is no way as it is right now to exchange those uh, favors for these tags. Uh, because there are enough tags being given as a reward for you to obtain. Um, uh, throughout events uh, to obtain these tags throughout the events on Risa. Now I'm also going to give you guys a little bit of a tip if you are going to do the Horgon hunt make sure that whatever um, um, event you are going to be make sure that that is a uh, primary and you can do that by pressing button J or pressing this button up here, hail Starfleet, go into in progress and make sure that whatever um, mission you are on, you're going to hit this button up here that says make primary and it's going to give you 
uh, all of the events that are going to take place, they're going to give you a uh, yellow outline. So that is just a small tip that I'm giving all of you uh, players out there. If you're looking to hunt something down, you can definitely do it that way. It's going to give you a little bit more uh, like a visual reference where to hunt. Um, so you can have like an easier way of locating whatever you are locating. Anyway, we are here at the Monkey Trainer NPC. Now this guy, as you guys are seeing, it is a little bit populated. So there are enough people that actually know this trick. And the option right here is to exchange the research uh, feather monkey tags for uh, hatchlings. Now, I obviously have done this a couple of times on the duty officer assignment mission. So I'm going to collect the rewards, all of them. Hopefully I'm going to have enough room in my inventory. Collect, collect, collect. And I also want to collect that. So let me just open one of those and collect that. Uh, collect. Here we go. Now, as you guys are seeing, I've gotten about eight new birds in my inventory. Or at least uh, eight new non-combat non pets in in uh, in ST. Oh, I got four monkeys and four birds. So the first thing which we're going to do is we're going to exchange these tropical tags, and it's going to hatch um, like a monkey. There are four different monkeys. You're going to get like a baby, a juvenile, a adult, and then a senior or something in that uh, in that nature. The same goes with these uh, birds. You're going to get like a hatch and then a juvenile and so on and so forth, all the way to senior. Senior is the last one that you can have on this thing. And uh, the seniors are really important because those are the ones that we're going to exchange with them for our fleet marks or our reputation marks, depending on whatever is going to be uh, needed at that moment. Now, make sure that you have a little bit of a boost in your um, fleet marks, um, there is one at the MP, uh, the the exchange. If you want to grab that, thank you for Rengi. <laughs> anyway, so this is the option that we are going to take care of trading the feather, the monkeys. Now, if you just go through all of this information, there is going to be some. Um, okay, it's not showing up because I don't have enough room in my inventory, but it should show up right now. So if you are fully committed, and I do want to um, um, emphasize this a little bit, um, if you exchange or if you confirm that you want to exchange a multiple package choice for uh, this monkey, uh, make sure that you are fully committed because there is no other way to uh, cancel that uh, multiple choice package that we are going to get. It's going to give us a cooldown time of five minutes and it's going to go all the way to zero and then it's going to give us something at random. So I'm actually going to grab myself some fleet marks. So I'm going to exchange my um, uh, this uh, monkey that I have, a feathered monkey senior blue with tiki mask, because I really don't want them in my inventory, it's just going to take place, uh, and it's not really good. The only thing that I do want to say right now, um, as it is, I wish that Cryptic would have added the competitive mark option up here for us as well, so we can have a little bit of farming with competitive marks, even though I, I really don't need any, <laughs> but some of you might. Um, and especially if you're a new player and you want to farm a couple of reputation marks, you have the option to choose everything that is available right here. But for me personally, I'm going to grab some fleet marks rewards. Now, one thing that I also want to showcase that all of these options up here, they are not going to add to the um, to the cooldown reward. So I'm going to choose the fleet mark package accept reward. And as you guys are seeing, the fleet mark bonus daily is still available with for me. So that is not going to give me anything um, 
that is going to add it for that. Now, as you guys saw, 120 of um, uh, fleet marks have been added to my to my uh, my fleet bank right here, or my fleet mark uh, options, the accumulated um, amount. The same goes with these guys. So you first start off with uh, hatch an egg. That is the first option right here. So you start this assignment. And the same is for the other uh, NPC right there for the monkeys. So you basically go through like whatever option you have to start off a, a duty officer assignment mission. This is just going to make them uh, grow up, as it were, from uh, from an egg to a hatchling to adult to a senior. And senior is the, mo the, the last one that you really want. So we can actually start those. There are two in progress and so on so and so forth. You basically understand what you need to go through. And the last option right here, trading the tropical birds, is the same option that we had for the monkeys. You basically go through that, make sure you have enough room in your inventory. I kind of have good. And you can basically trade in something that you don't want. I have right here the multiple uh, uh, multiple choice mark package. Uh, now, obviously, you want the last one. You can also choose to just get rid of that uh, bird in your uh, for from from your inventory. Just to exchange that for uh, multiple choice. But obviously, the amount of uh, a senior and like an adult is going to differ. That's why I'm actually recommending you guys to grab the last one. So uh, seniors is definitely something that you want to exchange. Now, the same thing here as well. For me, I have enough marks, reputation marks to last me like a couple of lifetimes in STO. So I'm going to grab myself fleet marks. And you guys are going to see right here 120 as well. Now, obviously, I'm going to get a little bit more because I have a um, a fleet mark a bonus pool going on but you get the you get the point you get my point definitely the easiest way to uh, farm yourself a couple of uh, reputation marks uh, or fleet marks in uh, or during the Risa event is by doing a couple of missions uh, by uh, grabbing yourself these eggs if you don't have eggs you can exchange them uh, the the favors for uh, one eggs 150 favors for one egg and I would recommend you guys doing the mission of the Horgan hunt if you want to exchange eggs you might get lucky like I did on the first try and you're going to get an extra egg and for the tags I would recommend power boat uh, power board raise or the biathlon because the rewards of from those are definitely uh, good. And with that being said, I hope you guys had a little bit of information coming out of this channel, a little bit of entertainment as well. And I definitely would love to see you on the next videos as well. For now, take care and have lots of fun in the Risa event. Later.